What up everyone? We're back again. Today we are going to be working on the expedition. We are going to be addressing an issue with the battery. Now when I've been driving around I've noticed the lights have kind of been flickering, the gauges are acting weird, and this definitely isn't helping. You can see there's all sorts of corrosion on the battery. Here, here, these terminals are just gross. And the problem is, is if you don't address the corrosion, it'll actually walk down the cables and you can actually even see it down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking the battery out, cleaning it like I did in the other video, and I'm going to be changing these terminals. This one's already changed. You can buy these kind and they're like, um, you can buy them if you're wiring a, uh, a stereo up and you can put the amp wire in here. Yeah, they make them so that you can stick other wires in the side in a run it that way. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of them because over time stuff can shake loose and they're just not, you know, 100% legit. So I'm going to be changing them out with some other ones that I got from the auto parts store. And um, I'm going to be installing the corrosion, anti-corrosion washers. So I'll show you that, how that whole process goes. So I have some of the tools here. I'm going to go grab the washers and I'll be right back. Alrighty, first thing I'm going to do is take off the negative terminal. And I just cracked it loose and just shake it back and forth and it'll come off. This battery is not in that bad a shape, it just looks like it is. We're going to find out which one of these fits. Maybe it's this one. Yep. So, take that off. Now the reason I took the negative off is everything else in the, on the vehicle is attached to the negative. So if I went to here to the ground, it would be, it would have continuity. If I went from here to here it would have continuity. Problem is, is if you're loosening it and you happen to touch the fender, it'll blow up in your face. But if the negative's off, then nothing on the vehicle is connected to it, so you're safe to do whatever you need. Let's see if I can get this off. Yeah, this terminal's gonna go away. Never really been a fan of these things. And we're just gonna take it out now. On these Fords, the battery's held down with an 8 millimeter down here at the bottom, so it's not that bad to get out, actually. You can see somebody already replaced these terminals once. They didn't do a very good job. So that's where I come in. Get that out, and you can see it all built up. All right. Just take this guy out. I'm going to treat this, too with anti-corrosion spray. So, got this battery right up out of here. And let's see when it's made. 18, yeah, so it's not that old. So what I'm gonna do is uh, bring it over here and I'm gonna hose it off. And yes, I realize it's a battery and I know water is conductive, but you are perfectly fine rinsing off a battery. Won't cause any trouble. Actually, what I'm going to do is uh, spray some of the anti-corrosion spray on it. It's kind of cool stuff. I've used it before, but it's been a while. It's made by NOCO, which if you're familiar with batteries and stuff, they make uh, really nice chargers and other battery-related stuff. So you put this spray on there, and when, it's, uh, when, it, when it detects acid, it turns pink. So it's kind of a good indication of where you stand as far as how your battery is. So I spray some of this on there and it'll help neutralize anything I missed. It's pretty clean here. Don't have anything here good. So gonna leave it on there. You can see a little bit of pink there, but if I come over on the truck, you can see it's there and there. So I'm gonna spray this, it'll turn pink for sure. And what this will do is it'll help stop this from continuing to occur. 
So I'm gonna let this do its magic, then I'm gonna hose it off. There's a little bit on here too. So I'm just gonna let this stuff sit. So I'm gonna do that and um, let it sit here, do its thing. Then I'll come back with you and we'll do the terminals. Okay, so I sprayed everything under the hood off and I'm gonna let this guy dry in the sun a little bit. Clean them off. Battery's actually in really, really good shape. So we'll let him sit in the sun and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get these terminals changed. So what you wanna do, yeah, I sprayed everything in here off as well. And that's not a problem. It will, um, it'll dry off and uh, not cause any issues. You can see there's some corrosion there too. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and start with the positive. You can see that this thing's pretty buggered up and nasty. So I'm gonna try to pick it apart. See if I can get it unbuggered. So you wanna to try to get these strands as straight as possible. Get them wrapped up so that they can go into the new terminal. Same with this one. It's all smashed flat, so try to get it splayed out a little bit. And then I'm gonna hit it with the uh, wire brush. Try to clean it. So what I do is just get it out like that and then just do this. It'll scrape all the crap and corrosion off of it and bear the copper again so it will have a good conductive surface for it to work with. Same with this one. It's unfortunate somebody already did this because I would have stripped it back and done it a lot, uh, a lot better of a job on it, but it's already been done, so gotta work with what I've been given. So I got these ones from AutoZone. O'Reilly sells them, Napa sells them, everybody sells them, but they're uh, brand new terminals. It'll uh, it'll help your electrical system be a lot happier because everything will have a good solid connection. And all you do on these is literally just loosen them. Then you shove your uh, you shove your conductors under it and then tighten it back up. So. And I know it's kind of a pain in the butt, so usually I'll take one off like that. You have to be aware because the nut will fall out. So swing it to the side. Try to do it like this. And I know it's not ideal, but sure better than what's on here now. So then you take the bolt, put it back in, make sure that these don't pull out while you're doing this, and then start tightening it. And it should bite. Once it does, just tighten the hell out of it. And you can shove them up in there, like you just really don't wanna pinch the plastic in there because Plastic's not conductive like the copper is, so it can cause you trouble. So I just get them pretty dang tight. Then I coat them with dielectric grease that stops it from rotting. So do this. Try to tighten them equally. Okay. That's really tight. Then since those are on, the plastic's not pinched. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, coat it with this, this dielectric grease. It, uh, it's good stuff. It stops corrosion, helps keep moisture out, and uh, yeah, it works. It's a good lube on a lot of things. I'll use it to hold O-rings in place and all sorts of other things related. So I'm just gonna Smear it on here and on the underside, down in here and on the bolts. So 
basically the, since that's done the negative is exactly the same thing so I'm gonna go ahead and do the negative and uh, I will come back to you it's time to put the battery back in so I'm gonna cover this bolt with a little bit of dielectric grease uh, wipe my fingers off All right, so then you'll use the anti-corrosion washers. Red obviously for positive and green for negative. And these things are chemically treated to help stop corrosion. So we'll go ahead and put the positive on first. Get this handle down out of the way. Now don't over tighten these because these terminals are made out of lead and they will snap. So just gotta be careful with them. And sometimes on these cars, the alarm will go off when you put when you hook the battery back up. So if it does, I'll just have to disarm it. it didn't on this one. Okay. You can see the Terminal kind of looks like the cables coming out of the negative look like a mess, but it's protected. It won't corrode anymore. This black one's a little looser, so I can go ahead and snug it up more. This is a really easy project. Pretty much anybody can do. It's beneficial to the battery. It's beneficial to the electrical system in the car. Helps everything last longer. The only thing you'll run into is certain certain vehicles I know like the older Fords had it like the Ford Escorts and stuff where they had the terminals would actually have little fuses in them and they were big boxes and they were really really complicated so if you have something like that you probably have to get one from the dealer but if it's standard then you can just install something like this but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use more of this stuff so you can probably tell I like dielectric grease but really doesn't hurt anything and can pretty much use as much as you want. Well, the battery is in and we should be good to go. So let me grab the keys. Alrighty, let's see what she does. There we go. What I was kind of tripping out on is this thing actually has a trailer brake controller in it, which is pretty rare for something that's a half ton, but I totally dig it. Anyway, we are done with this project. Voltage gauge looks nice and stable, which is exactly what I want. So on to the next one, guys. Thanks for following along.